Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and basically in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Fanote application that Linux Mint has um, developed and that's included in Linux Mint um, basically operating system. Now we guys will be able to search it from here, I'll just search up for notes and I'll just click onto it and that should basically um, allow you to open the software. Now we're going to see a software looking like this. Um, we can obviously maximize it, we can also minimize it and so on. Um, well guys may have noticed that um, there's a group um, so basically if we write down a few notes then we can also add in uh, these notes into different sort of groups so I'm just going to show you guys right now how to um, create a new note within for, within the um, group one so to add a new note just click on the add symbol add um, icon over here like this and now that should allow you to create a new um, note. Now from here we can do some notes such as do um, Python programming for college and then we can also add a new note called um, software bug fixes Ubuntu um, update and now from here we can just add in some random stuff um, like this so we can put down whatever notes you want to put down and you guys may have noticed that we have a few options over here we can maximize it we can also minimize it by doing this by just dragging it um, but if you guys want to make the font bigger then you guys can obviously do some font changes to it so I receive this um, format with AA click onto that AA icon and now from there you guys will be able to change so on for text settings um, so for example if you want to make this a smaller text just click onto that and if you want to make it a larger text click onto larger text so that's basically how you guys will be able to make the text larger now if you want this to be the title now you guys will be able to highlight it by doing this and now I receive the AA um, icon just click onto it and click onto underline and that should basically make this into a title we can also make it bold and so on so there's other settings that you guys can look into um the strike you can highlight it we can make this into a header header if we truly wanted to and so on um so if you guys want to explore this a bit more then it goes a bit to use this um sort of thing if you guys want to be able to toggle a checklist then you guys can indeed do that if we truly wanted to but i'm just going to keep this as simple and you can do that as well um the feature that you guys will be able to use. So these are just some extra features that you guys can do with our uh, text. Anyway, to change the color of a note, all you guys will need to do is click onto this icon over here, which looks like a black, um, I don't know, maybe a raindrop or something, but just click onto it and that should basically allow you to change the color of the note. Now you can change it to yellow, you can change it to red, you can change it to purple. In my case, I'm gonna change it to purple because purple is an awesome color. So I'm going to change it to purple, something like this. It looks very simple as well. So now to exit, all guys basically what you need to do is just click off it. And now we can go back into this specific software. Now if you guys really wanted to add a new note, then you guys can indeed do that. Just click on this icon right over here. And now you guys will be able to create a new note. And for this one, I'm going to maybe just make it into something completely random. So, for example, I will do something like this. Let's add in some random text, as this will be an example. Okay, so once I've added in some stuff to it, um, then now we can also um, delete it. So, if we no longer want to have a note, then we'll be able to delete it. We can delete it from here by just clicking onto a for note like this. And now we're going to see for minus um, icon. So, just click onto that to delete it. Or we can click onto the icon onto the note and now click onto that rubbish bin and that will allow you to delete the um, note okay so if you want to duplicate a note all guys will do is click onto it and now guys will be able to duplicate it and make copies of the note as you guys can see we can make different versions of it now if you guys wanted to um, rename for group just go over here and now I see group now we can rename it and I'll call this one college notes and now if you guys um, want to make a new um, group just click over here and now add a new group into it that's like this so just click over here now a new group 
and now this will allow you to add a new group and we can call this one for example personal notes and from here we'll also be able to add a new note and just put down such as do some washing up for example and our guys will be able to do that and now we can view it from over here so now these are into different groups and um, we can also search up for some groups itself from over here and now for example we'll just put down untitled and that should show up for untitled titles um, notes now if I want to rename a note because I'm all say untitled just click onto it and our guy should be able to update the title by clicking onto this edit um, icon as you can see rename it so just click over here and now we're going to be able to rename it from over here such as putting down um, Python um, work so once I have done that as you guys can see it has been renamed to Python work and we can also do the same for, for other ones I'll show you guys one more time so we can double click onto it and I once I have double click onto it now we're gonna see this um, pencil um, icon just click onto it and I'm going to be able to rename it to um, washing up for example and now as you guys can see the title has been changed so that's how you guys will be able to use notes and you can also put down over here washing up and now if you do that then you can view the notes by typing down the um, basically the title of it so that means if I have like thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and trillions and trillions and trillions of notes then if we search up for something like washing then you guys can easily find it right now it's very simple anyway guys um, to close out of it just click onto this X bar and now we can just um, go over here and now we can click onto the quit bar and by just left click onto it and then that menu should show up anyway guys um, thanks so much for watching um, how to use this notes app developed by the Linux Mint team um, it is the latest version but most of the parts should work for for let for for um for the older version. But the reason why I did for newer version, which is still in beta, um for the Linux Mint um twenty one, is because it's coming out soon. So it'd be better if I do um the newer um version of it to begin with, um rather than um do the older version because um we know it's it's a lot easier like that way. So I won't have to recreate it in the future. <laughs> Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys found this video very useful and I wish you'd see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.